All right, let's look at, uh, next up, let's look at volumetric analysis, please. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I said volumetric analysis comprises of a number of techniques which involves basically the measurement of the volume of some standard solution of known concentration, full stop. This standard solution is called the titrant. This standard solution is called the titrant. T-I-T-R-O-A-N-T. -T the titrant. T-I-T-R-O-A-N-T. -T. It's called the titrant. It's called the titrant. And the process of determining the volume is called titration. And the process of determining the volume is called titration. And the process of determining the volume is called titration. All right, score titration, please. Um, paragraph Some common indicators often used are listed below. Some common indicators often used are listed below. Some common indicators often used are listed below. By the way, I'll show the practical manual on the WhatsApp group, okay? Um, I'll show the practical manual on the WhatsApp group, so check it up later.
<laughs> that person, are you for real? All right, so you should, I think you should have this one at the back of your mind. Um, they could give you any of this, all right? For strong acid versus strong base, you can use either methyl orange or phenolphthalene. If you use methyl orange, the color at the end point will be what there? Orange. If you use phenolphthalene or any other indicator, what do you have there? Colorless. Please just note this thing. They could ask you, right? Uh, what would be the um, end products or what, what would be the color change at the end point if I use a strong acid versus a weak base? They, they, they might ask you, what is the suitable indicator? The answer there is what there? Methyl orange. And the color change at the end will be what there? Orange. If I'm using, um, if I'm having a mixture or combination of a weak acid versus a strong base, the suitable indicator is what there? Phenolphthalein. And the color change at the end point is what there? Colorless. What if I'm using weak acid versus weak base? What's, what's, the, what's the indicator to use? The answer is here is what there? No suitable. So please have this one at the back of your mind, please. Right? If I'm using, if it's weak acid versus weak base, there is no suitable indicator this one is not your practical manual but i have to add it up so you can note this stuff please please note this stuff that's another point where they can so copy this let's proceed copy this let's proceed copy this let's proceed please i, I know you're talking but i can't hear what you're saying but i know you're talking but i can't hear what you're saying what are you saying so in, in the options by the way who don't even give you options should not subjective abi well let me see anything it's objective oh your practical is subjective. Your practical. It is your test that they give you option. Chemistry test has option. Chemistry practical exam has no option. It's subjective. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, question one has A, B, C, D. Question two has A, B, C, D. Question three does not have. Question four has. Question five does not have. Question six does not have. Seven does not have. Just like three only has OBJ. But it's majorly subjective. But then, for instance, listen. If you have an exam, in your exam, if they say um, which indicator is suitable for strong acid versus strong base, and they give you methyl orange as one option, and give you another option as phenolphthalein, what will be your answer? Both of them are your answer. Go and check their math key. I've seen where they say the answer is A and B. If you choose only A, you get half of the mark. So that's the mark there. I've seen their math. So that's that's. that's Thank God you even brought it up, Seth. Thank God you brought it up. So thank you for bringing it up. But then, bear in mind, if the answer... I'm looking for such a question here. But in chemistry, they usually do that. They'll give you a question that has two answers. If you pick only one, you've got to what there? Half the mark, please. So we good. Please take down, please. From here... One line space and a paragraph, one line space and a paragraph. Volumetric analysis can be accomplished by different methods. 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 Please note this particular one. Note this particular thing. Volumetric analysis can be accomplished by different methods. Number one. Acid-based neutralization method. 
number one, acid-based neutralization method. That's number one. So the methods, please note this thing. I've seen this thing not once, not twice. Methods, number one, acid-based neutralization. Reaction. Number two, precipitation. Precipitation method. Number three, complexation. Number three, complexation method. Number four, oxidation method. Number four, oxidation method. Uh, let me just, I'll send a screenshot of this to the WhatsApp group so you can get the full details. But in exam, they will not have to explain this. It's just, this, this usually com, comes up in the, uh, what's it called? In the, OP, in the OBJ, right? Which of the following is a method of volumetric analysis? Or they will say, all of the following are volumetric analysis method, except dash. All right, so notes, all of this stuff, right? Um, neutralization, that's combination of an acid and a base, which is what there? Salt and water, that's this, right? Acid plus base equal to salt plus water. Precipitation, complexation, oxidation. All right, let's look at, is it a final thing there? Kind of a final thing there. I said 145, right? Next up, please, molarity. Let's look at molarity. Molarity. 